whether we like it or not a growing number of children are experimenting with a growing number of spend a lot of time studying an aesthetic and trying to understand it. And then you also have to figure out how to actually work. And in my case, it would be learning how to throw on the wheel. So you learn how to manipulate the clay. And you put in years and years of just uh, learning a technique. In the end, you can forget about what you've learned and you just start making good work. That's the hope. <laughs> Wissen. Erkenntnisse. It's really important to me in the work to not know what the outcome is and, and to listen to the painting to tell me where to go. That's the place that's interesting because otherwise I'm just executing something I already know. Mm -hmm. And the interesting part is what I don't know yet. It's entering into an intuition around a question. And those questions usually have to do, always have to do, with the human nature relationship. I think I think about it like a musician. There'll be visual relationships in the work. It might be that's use and reuse of the same color. It might be doing a shape that then connects to another shape that connects to another shape. And then it's the question of how they talk to each other, building the harmonies, if you will. You know, how do those layers talk? What do they lead? What emerges that I didn't know was going to emerge? Hello, Ron. You ready? What are you doing in my basement? Who are you? I didn't want you to go alone. Go where, exactly? To the afterlife. Oh, okay, I get it. The lights, you know, spooky death. Yeah, good, good prank, man. Spooky's a bit cheap. Well, I got things to do. Are you coming? I'm not going to the afterlife. Yeah, why not? Because I didn't die. Yes, you did. When you flip that switch, 10,000 volts. Kaput. No, 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 that's not fair. Life's not fair. I would know. <sighs> no, you know what? No, I want a redo. Redo? Yeah, you know, a, a redo, a, a do-over, more time. <sighs> eh, death by circuit breaker is pretty lame. Yeah, pretty lame. We went to America because Iraq wasn't safe, because ISIS and stuff like that. And my dad got a phone call at, at January 2015. And the phone call was about us going to America, and my dad woke, woke my mom up. And my mom started like crying, and because we have like a lo lot of family in Iraq, like uh, my cousin, my uncle, like 
a lot of, a lot of like family members. I came to Bakhira. Bakhira. We are from Lebanon, Iskenderun, Turkey, Azmir, Turkey. We are from Italy. We are from the Maghreb. Then we came to Mississippi. Mississippi and Mississippi.